so my name is Lisa and my role here is as community um, builder, community integration support work is the title. My name is Brent Schmidt and I'm a community building employee with Rain City at the Lux Apartments. It's Joshua Justin Johnson. Um, today I'm doing a part of an independent project, part of just working with the EYA is a living wall project. And so what we're doing is we're out here in the downtown east side helping out some uh, um, a community project where we're going to be putting up a living wall right here. Here um, we've got the, the living wall panel filled with, uh, you know, with the soil media and um, several different types of plants. This box here is actually going to be a little tea garden. Uh, the Real Estate Foundation of BC and Van City started the Green Building Grant Program in 2004 and it was created to support more sustainable land use and reduce the impacts of climate change. Funded by Van City and the Real Estate Foundation of British Columbia's Green Building Grant, the project brings together residents and local youth volunteers to collaborate on the design, installation and maintenance of the wall systems that include food plants, culinary herbs and native species for wildlife. The sites have been chosen based on lack of surrounding green space, need for community building, interest in food production and desire to improve energy efficiency. Paramount to the success of the project is an educational and training campaign to convey the importance of green wall and green roof technologies in mitigating the effects of the urban heat island effect. Other benefits include improving stormwater management and contributing a visual amenity that can provide therapeutic value to high density urban areas where conventional tree and shrub planting is not feasible. Uh, what do you think about the whole living world in, in the balcony? Well, it kind of threw me off when I first thought of the idea, but now that it's coming together, it's starting to look good. Um, looks like it's going to be a good project for the building, and uh, it's going to be nice to have fresh herbs and, and uh, salad stuff. Well, I think that it's a great opportunity to, to gain skills um, in food production and just generally like just have sustainable food that's accessible to people in the neighborhood and, and be a part of actually producing it. It'll help um, people that are, that are on low income and uh, it'll help us learn about that. Well, these things which were planted uh, Four weeks ago now are actually going to be finally put up on the wall. And after we hang them on the walls, we'll be putting mounting brackets on this wall, and then we'll be hanging them up, and then afterwards we'll be installing an irrigation system. And we're going to have lots of food for the fall. A lot of bounty to share with people. What have you been uh, planting today? Uh, just herbs, lettuces, uh, beans, snap peas, snow peas, basil, lemon thyme, uh, oregano. For sure. It's just going to be awesome. We do so many food events here. It's going to be so great to have people to come out here and just pick the lettuce and pick the snap peas and pick the, the herbs and make stuff from what we've grown. Really important to the success of the project is um, to do a, a wider campaign and, and outreach to the community um, to let people know that green walls are a really fantastic way to uh, mitigate the impacts of climate change through reduced uh, energy expenditures, um, to reduce the urban heat island effect. Anything that you can do to cool the surface of a building will have a drastic impact on the amount of air conditioning that you need to use during the summer months. I think they've 
they've proven um, that for every degree or two um, that you're able to reduce the surface of the building temperature um, reduces the amount that you have to provide air conditioning in that space of up to 10 percent. In the city, if we could have more of these green walls, um, we would have less smog, you know. Doing something like a living wall gives people an opportunity to reconnect with things that they used to do, like gardening, um, things that are pr productive for them to do. So many of our spaces, um, you know, there's, there's lots of concrete around, uh, really tall structures that can be quite boring and there's been so much research to show that even seeing a, a tree out the window um, you know or a plant in your window can have a really uh, therapeutic benefit to people and so the idea with these is also to provide an aesthetic value to to our neighborhoods. Community gardens, the more you build, the more you will have to build, because the more people see them, the more they want them. And I, I think green roofs and walls work exactly the same way. Yep, I haven't seen any barriers uh, community-wise, um, other than that there's not enough living walls to go around, that everybody wants a living wall. That's about the only barrier. This, well, I think it's pretty nourishing, other than beyond just nourishing your body with food. It's, it just gives a people an idea where things come from, how long it takes to grow, how much energy it takes. Uh, it's really important that everyone should know. Um, yeah, it, it looks like unbelievable. I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome and the result. Food really seems to bring people together. I mean, food is kind of the universal language. Everybody needs it. It brings people together, the, the doing of it. We are 100,000 years of a species who's evolved to be in a green, environment and we like to be around green that the the alien nature of concrete and glass and the more we build up the less we see the green that's out there what we all love about Vancouver so much and the more important it is to preserve it and grow it in an urban environment